Alright guys, what's going on? Uh, this is the latest video for you. Uh, my 4-bit Minecraft CPU, and it has 4 bits of memory and 7 functions. Uh, this is the control panel. I'm going to show you the control panel, give you a few examples of how it works, and then I'm going to show you basically all the wiring and the mechanics of it, and try to explain a little bit from there. But uh, later on down the line, I'm going to make tutorial videos on how to uh, do this from you know step by step so I'm basically gonna rebuild it and break it down into probably like five part videos so I can explain it you know so you guys can get every block you know and I'm not gonna skip over anything at all and try to give it to you you know straight as I can but what I'm gonna do here is give you an example and show you how it works uh, I'm gonna start with addition and these are the uh, the function levers right here and there's seven functions but if you see there's only eight, three switches and the reason why I did that is I like it better this way uh, so there's not seven switches so basically there's uh, you know encoders back there that you know the instead of having seven switches I have it like basically programmed to where addition if you look see it's uh, one down one up one down and if you look over here addition zero one zero so it's kind of the same concept of how the seven segment display works uh, it goes through decoders and then it comes out into the you know what you actually want so I'll stay on addition and give you a little example here's the numbers this row here is one this is two this is four and this is eight and uh, these torches actually show the answer in binary so you'll see the answer on this display and then you'll see it in binary too and like the XORing and the anding and the nanding everything will come through uh, these torches right here and so what I'll do is do a simple addition problem 8 oh, sorry about that I always do that 8 we'll say plus 4 and then uh, if you see the first thing it'll do it'll come through the uh, binary display and then you'll see it come come through the seven segment displays and there's 12 right there and then I'll just add say add one more to it and then like I said it takes a second where I'll show you the back of the whole thing and you'll see why it takes so long uh, here there it is in binary one one zero one those of you not familiar with binary that's basically 13 and uh, if you check on my website I'll have a you know a breakdown of all the binary from 1 to 2 250 cuz you know in the later videos I'm gonna make bigger and bigger and better CPUs that'll actually go up to 250 so I'm gonna you know check that website I got a lot of cool stuff a lot of breakdowns of how to do things and once I get the tutorial video out or all my tutorial videos out and then you can uh, basically cross reference it to what's on the site and it'll just really help explain things so that's uh, that's the answer 13 and then I'm going to show you how the memory works uh, so basically I'm going to load the memory in the uh, memory bank one by hitting the top button and you want to give it a give it a you know maybe like 10 seconds to let it do its thing there and then I'm going to shut all the uh, all the switches off and then it'll reset itself and then uh, I'll take this back to nothing all zeros which is all of them down is nothing so the display will uh, reset itself back I, it'll actually go back to 15 uh, I need a little I need to tweak it a little bit to get it to go back to zero but for some reason it's it's showing 15 I will fix that but so this is me memory bank one right here so I'm gonna turn it on and then I'm gonna give it a few and it will show our answer again which was 13 it'll show it on this wall too the binary there it is right there and once it's in that memory it'll stay forever I mean literally a month down the line if you have it down, you know if you have it saved in your memory bank you can bring it back up and so there's four memory banks that's the load button these the bottom on each bank is the reset button and these levers are how to actually access you know the uh, 
whatever you have in there. And this thing here is a run button. This is actually uh, a program counter. Uh, I haven't quite hooked it up yet. I built it. I'll show it to you. But I haven't quite hooked it up yet because I don't have enough programs actually running through this to make it, you know, make it actually work right. But it's a really, really cool thing. Uh, it adds in binary and it basically is all, you know, self-sustained. It works, you know, totally by itself. And you can make it as big as you want, as small as you want. You know, it can add to 10 and then reset. And uh, it, it's really cool because, you know, you could... Say if you was doing an addition problem and then you uh, want to you you hit the program counter and then automatically you know 10 seconds or 50 60 seconds whatever you set it to it could automatically change the answer to something else or change to a different program or maybe even load a memory bank I mean I got a lot of really cool ideas coming up and uh, one of my you know uh, new ideas coming out is uh, printer. So this is going to be one of my greatest things to date, actually. It's going to be hooked up to this CPU. So what I'm going to do is uh, say that answer 13 right there. I'm going to have a button where you, you basically push the button, and it will print out on, like, you know, on blocks the answer in a seven seg you know, two seven-segment displays, the answer 13 or whatever the answer would be which uh, I actually have that built too but it's not completely done so I want to do this uh, step by step I don't want to confuse anybody and it takes a lot of work to get all this done I mean this this take this took me about two three weeks here this uh, this CPU and the printer is really close to being done and I can't wait to show it to you guys so uh, yeah, if you like this video, guys, please, you know, rate, comment, subscribe, whatever you can do to help me out. This takes a ton of work to do. And so I'm going to give you a couple, like, one more quick example, and then I'll go uh, show you what's on the back side of this thing. So I'm going to reset it back. That'll take the answer 13 back off. That'll reset it for you. And then I'm going to show you subtraction. And like I said, that's 15. It's, I need to hook it up to say zero, but... I just wanted to get the video out real quick, but I promise you it does does work. And uh, I'll go over and read what subtraction is on uh, our function wall. Subtraction is one one one, which is all down. I mean all up. I'm sorry, all up. And then you always want to give it a second. And uh, I'm gonna actually give this, you know for download so you guys can walk around the world I have tons and tons of cool stuff built this is the third or fourth one of these that I built I have a printer I have uh, counters all kinds of really really cool stuff so I'm gonna put the put the link in the description where you can download it and if you have any questions feel free to ask um, I should you know have no problem explaining anything you need to know and uh, so let's let's give you a quick example uh, and on subtraction, if you do get this this world and download it, just remember that you have to go top to bottom for subtraction. You can't go four minus eight; it just won't work because it doesn't do decimal. So, if you do eight, say minus four, and then give it a minute, and you'll see again on the binary wall on the torches, the answer will show up. There's the answer, and there it is in the uh, on the seven segment display and uh, I'll load it into memory two this time we'll give it a second here then I can reset everything and it will stay in the memory like I said it'll stay forever until you reset it so uh, give it give it a couple more seconds I'm gonna go back and basically shut everything off We'll go take this back to all zeros, all down, which is all off, so nothing will be working. The uh, display should go back to 15. Give it one second. There's 15. That's just a minor glitch. I ever since the update came through, I don't, uh, you know, update 8.1, I think it was. Uh, I just something happened it, it was going to zero and now it's going to 15 but I just gotta go and fix it but it it's no big deal next time I come out with a video I'll fix it for you but we'll load it in it's loaded into uh, memory bank 2 so to access memory bank 2 I need to uh, just 
lift this lever right here that's memory bank 2 and uh, give it a minute and the answer will come back there's the answer that's uh, 4 that's what we had 8 minus 4 there it is zero one zero zero that's four in binary so uh and it has five other functions i'm not going to show you them because they're pretty basic functions they don't actually come up on the seven segment display uh they only come up on the uh, four torch display but i'll go over them real quick uh, i have anding the addition that you've seen xoring oring nanding xnoring and subtraction so it's uh, seven functions all all together. Uh, if you have any questions when you download this, if you know if you need me to help you out to show you how any of it works, uh, feel free to ask. But I'm gonna go and basically take you through and give you a quick quick uh, rundown of how this this whole thing works and show you basically the mechanics of everything. It's uh, quite big as you can see uh, over here. These are the decoders for the seven segment display. And uh, I'm going to make a, that's actually going to be my next video for you guys. I'm going to make uh, how to make a seven segment display. So I'm going to make four adders and then I'm going to hook it up to a, uh, a, a basic seven segment, seven, uh, sorry, seven seg segment display with like everything exposed so I can show you all the wiring piece by piece. And I actually already did it. I'm just going to commentate to it for you. And, you know, it looks really confusing, but it's actually really easy. And it's uh, it's quite amazing, actually, guys. I, you know, if you don't already know how to do it, it probably looks like it's impossible. But it's really not that bad. And once you learn it, uh, I think you'll enjoy it thoroughly for sure. So, yeah, this is uh, basically all the white. This is the CPU that I just showed you some of the other stuff those are my older ones and some of my other projects but uh, this is uh, this is it guys I hope you enjoyed everything you know these are the functions in the middle as you can see there's seven functions all around all the functions are in the middle there's the, uh, the input bus and the output bus out there and then I'm coming up onto the RAM these are all the banks of RAM. These are the D flip flops. And I'm going to do a tutorial video on those two. And the uh, decoders on how to uh, do the display and how to do all the, you know, instead of having the seven switches um, and, you know, have it down to three switches. And I'm going to basically break this down piece by piece for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed everything. And like I said, the link will be in the description. And uh, please, guys, rate, subscribe, comment. It really, really helps. Uh, I'm going to be putting a lot more videos out um, off of work. So I got a lot more time on my hands. So anything you guys are interested in, check out the website. You'll see some of my other projects and my ideas and things that come. And uh, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed.